Hello! Easter comes but once a year. Let the children scream in fear. Yes, it's Easter special time again, everyone. And what an Easter special it is. For every item is from Poundland this year, just like the old days. Because loads of new Easter items in Poundland. Absolutely huge new range of stuff. Very exciting. Look, let's begin with a nice rabbit. Oh, is it a velveteen rabbit? That was a thing, wasn't it? A book or possibly a poem? I don't know. But I'll tell you what. It's very soft. Oh, and it's been glued to a bit of wood, so it stands up. That's cool, isn't it? It's quite thin as these things go, but you know, if you put it on a shelf like that, it's fine. It's all fine as long as you don't rotate it. <clears throat> oh dear. <laughs> There's something about this stitching I find genuinely unsettling. It's like it's been burnt together or something. Uh, in fact, I think it may have been. Oh God, I was making a joke there, but no, I think it has been. Uh, yeah, via some extreme heat process, <laughs> fused together. So you've got the horrifying Stitches the Rabbit. Mm. Cute, cute, cute. Horrifying. Cute, cute, cute. But hey, it looks fine from that way as well. I think this is, it's for, for a little cheap Easter deck, it's quite nice in the sense that if you put it on, if you put it there like that, that's absolutely fine. Just never rotate it 90 degrees or the screaming will start. Right, let's get the gonk out of the way. There's always a bloody gonk in these now, isn't it? There he is, with his beard and his rabbit ears. Are they actually part of him? Are they part of the hat? I don't care. The important thing is, this is made out of some sort of quite hard um, resiny sort of material. So when it inevitably gets thrown out of the window, it's more likely to smash. So. I'm totally on board with that. Also, some interesting additions at Poundland this year. Now things are branded as Pepco, which I think previously was just their like clothing range, but seems to be for all their products now. And also, look at this. Look at the amount of different prices. You've got your Great British Pounds, and you've got your Euro, and you've got your, your Rubles, and your Bams, and your Plungs, and your Zooks, and your Rusts, and your Huffs, and everything. There we are. So it's almost like a sort of, you could keep that, and look at it in 10 years, and say, uh oh, that's what the exchange rate was like back then. Anyway, you can sit over there and hope the rabbit will poo on you, you bloody gonky bastard. Right, next up. Uh, I think it's about time we had a whisk that looks like a carrot. It's a carrot whisk. It's not a whole lot else to say on that, really. A very pleasingly long barcode, but uh, yeah, there's, there's a whisk that looks like a carrot. Quite rubberized, it's probably a decent whisk. Um, yeah. I don't know why, I don't know who thought, ah, it's Easter time! Time for a whisk! How can we get that Eastery? I know! Let's make it look like a carrot, because a carrot is something that's eaten by a rabbit, and the Easter Bunny is a thing. It's getting a little bit far along the line, isn't it, conceptually, I think, but let's just put that over there and pretend I never bought it. Right, chick time! Chick time! Pepco Easter chick time. Look, they're hatching out of the eggs and they're all properly fluffy. These are interesting, because these are more kind of realistic than the chicks you normally get. Oh, they're just sort of glued onto the... Oh, I don't know if you're supposed to remove them from that. Well, I have done and ruined everything. Yeah, they're very... Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh God. They're shedding everywhere. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting that they've taken this slightly more realistic fluffy thing going on. Are they fluffy when they come straight out of the egg? Surely not. Surely they're like covered in goo or something. I don't know. I can't remember ever seeing a chick hatch. I feel like it's something I probably saw on television years ago, but there we are. And look, they've got a little tail feather. Bend over. Let me see you shake a tail feather. Well, I mean, part of me likes these and part of me doesn't. I don't know. I like the fact they've gone a different way with them, but they're just so kind of... I think what I don't like about it is that I know I'm going to be picking up little bits of yellow hair that have floated around the room for the next 50 years. And you can go in the other corner. You can have a boxing match later if you're lucky. And now, something a little bit classier. Ooh, the proper porcelains, look! Holding a sort of golden carrot? It is the faceless rabbit, the ghost of rabbit's past. So when I saw this in the shop, this label here was over the top, like that. And I honestly thought the rabbit was holding an urn. I thought it was like, oh my god, it's the condolences rabbit. It's the rabbit of remembrance. Father, will the Easter Bunny be coming this year? No, only the rabbit of mourning. 
Father, why are you like this? Yes, it's kind of spooky. It does look like a ghost rabbit holding an urn, doesn't it? In fact, looking at it now, even when you see the bottom, it still kind of looks more like an urn than a carrot. It's very odd. Very odd. Um, I suppose he has to hold it because you can't put it on a flat surface due to the bad design of the bottom. And he's like a holder or a pot or something. I don't know, but I can tell you it was £2. Seems quite a lot for that in its way, but it's it's well put together. I mean, it's it's really well done. There's like the paint's um, nice and clean and stuff, but uh, I don't know, something spooky, something spooky about that. I feel I may have to like bury it in a lead lined box at a crossroads or something so it doesn't come back and haunt me. Anyway, there's another thing like it. It's a decorative duck. It was also, uh, oh, I don't know, there's no price on it actually. Oh, it was. Two, it was 10 rons. Perfect. Um, just kind of looks like Untitled Goose Game, but with golden wellies on. Why is the duck wearing wellies? We don't know. We just don't know. It's abstract enough. They could actually be any bird like that, couldn't it? Probably not a swan because of the yellow beak. But yeah, you could get away with goose. You can get away with duck. You can get away with um, just... Actually, I'm not sure they have got away with these boots, I'll be honest with you. What a weird... The more I look at this, the weirder it gets. Look, just get in the corner, because I've got something perfectly normal for us next. How about... Oh, look at this. A big bowl to put your Easter eggs in or whatever, with a rabbit relaxing in it. Ah, oh, lovely. Until you rotate it and discover that the rabbit has apparently been hollowed out and made into a bowl. Look, there's its feet. There's its arms. There's its head with drainage hole, in case you put it in the dishwasher or something, marvellous. And uh, let's not think about what that is. Oh, it's fine. No, no, it's covered in pink spots. No, <laughs> that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, ooh, free fluff. Marvellous. Um, I don't get the concept of this one. It's kind of weird, isn't it? If it was just like a bowl with a rabbit peeking over, it'd be quite cute. Although I've got to say the... Um, ear that's folded over looks very odd, doesn't it? That doesn't seem to have sort of worked. I think because for the ear to have folded over that much, you'd have to be twice as tall as the other one. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I feel like we're splitting hairs. <laughs> you get it? Hairs, rabbit. Onk, onk, comedy. Um, because it's just bloody grotesque. Like, it does look like it's been scooped out in some fashion. They made the rabbit pie and then used the leftovers to make a terrifying bowl. Lovely. Lovely. Well, it can't get any worse than that, he said, immediately producing something worse than that. How about a plate to go with it that is just literally a squashed rabbit run over by a steamroller or something? Uh, don't understand. How much was this, actually, as a matter of interest? So this was £3. How much was the bowl? Oh, the bowl was a fiver! My God, who remembers the days when everything in Poundland was a pound? Uh, most of us, because it wasn't actually that long ago. But anyway, yeah. But what is that? Why is rabbit flat? Why is this considered a good idea? Why do we want to put things on flat rabbit? It's... I just find that very odd. Very odd. I mean, replace the rabbit there with a the human and you've got some deviant art stuff going on, haven't you? Let, let's just get out of the way and let's have something far more pleasant. Well, we haven't, so we've got a flocked rabbit. <laughs> flocked rabbit with a bit of string around its neck for some reason. This was uh, £2.50. Marvellous. They often do a flocked rabbit. This is probably the best one I've seen, because the flock doesn't seem to come off particularly easily. It is still getting on the sofa and will take a thousand years to remove, but that's not the point. Um, it was also sort of a slightly porcelain-y thing, and uh, yeah, sort of terracotta, I would have said, looking at the inside. It's just sort of, the, the, I don't know, the flocking, the fake grass there, looks better than it usually does. I'm not entirely convinced by the bit of string around his neck, I will admit. I didn't look at that and think, hmm, needs a bit of brown string to separate its head from his body. That will really make it pop. I'm, I'm going to remove it. Hang on. It's only a simple knot. Oh yeah, that looks better. Oh, I take everything back. What's this? Holy shit, look, it's got bloody growths coming off it. What? What it? Oh, well, I've ruined that now. That's my fault. But um, what what was this tendril coming off it? Is it has it been infected by the thing or something? Macready, get over here. We got another one. Um, I oh ooh, god, it's got diseases underneath as well. Well, this is beginning to freak me out slightly. But um, yeah, <clears throat> I think overall, I thought this was nice until I saw. Why are they just gobbets of glue or something? Why are they... Te I don't even want to think about it. Bring on the nice birds as a palate cleanser. Look! Slightly realistic tweeting birds. 
weirdly squished up in the box. They're, they're far too far up that way. It looks like the necks are bent or something. Right, hang on. Let's open it up. Oh dear, this doesn't want to come undone. A lot of solid tape on that one. There we are. And we have the birds. Oh, they're on uh, clips. That's quite nifty. So you can wear them in your hair to the Easter parade or, or something and give them names like Captain Chaffinch, Lord of the Admiralty, and Super Bono. Yes. Um, I quite like that. These are quite nicely done. Very simple, the way they've put them together, but uh, quite effective. I mean, the closer you look to them, like the head's a bit squashed, blah, 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 but like, if you look at them from even a medium distance, it's quite well done, quite well done. The clip's quite solid as well. Clip onto that. <gasps> the bird box is complete. Not that film with Sandra Bullock. That's still I'm going around to seeing, really must do. Right, you can uh, now attach yourself to that. Except I can't quite reach over to do it. Ah, this was a bad idea. Ah, nope, you're just going to have to live there with your two birdie friends. Ah, oh, palate cleanser. And now something that's more sort of Easter themed than purely an Easter decoration. A game for the young kids. Shape matching eggs. I mean, it's with the Easter stuff for, well, for egg reasons, I imagine. Let's destroy this viciously. So it comes in this plastic carton. Obviously made to look like an egg carton. Yeah, that's quite good, quite solid. And inside, which you can never open so the children may not play. Actually, I genuinely can't remember what's going on. There we are. You've got these eggs, which I presume match shapes in some way. Yes, the heart. And now the liver, maybe, if you're very ill. Ah, so you can match them by colour or shape. Interesting. Oh, look. They even have a little shape at the bottom for extra... Um... Oh, wait, can you actually put that in there? Oh, interested now. Where's the heart one? Uh, last one to look at, obviously. No, 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 they don't fit in like that, but still an extra bit of shape matching for the Kitty Winkles. That's pretty nifty. For three quid, I think that's quite a nice set for the kids to play about with and go, ah, this one doesn't fit. Ah, but these colours do. And oh, look at that. Marvellous, except that's going the wrong one. What shape was that again? Oh, that's weird. Have we discovered something here? Which shape is that? So that's this sort of... Um, parallelogram type thing. There is a parallelogram, the one where the sides are the same shape. I can't remember. It's a four-sided shape. That'll do us. Mm. Oh, trapezoid. That's it. Trapezoid. No, uh, there isn't a matching one. What's going on? Right, that one doesn't have a match. That one has a match. That one doesn't have a match. Uh, the plus kind of has a match, I think. Um, the triangle definitely does, right. Uh, the square does. The plus kind of does, yeah. The heart does. And that's your lot. So three of these... Hang on, have I got this wrong? No, I've put that in the wrong pile, haven't I? Um, yes, so two of these do not have corresponding shapes. There isn't a circle, and there isn't a star. Hmm. Meaning that there's nothing for this or the flowery boy here. That's odd. That's put me off a bit, because it's really odd that you would have two shapes in the bottom that don't actually match any of the shapes in the thing. And oh god, the flock sticking to the eggs. The world is ruined. Well, there we are. It's still quite a nice present, I suppose, for the kids for three quid, but yeah, that that seems odd to me. There's some, something went horribly wrong in the planning or creation process of that, I think. Well, let's finish up with another all new thing never seen before. <gasps> Mini block Easter egg. Look at this. Some Easter gumph of fake Lego. Right, let's have a bit of a scratch at it. How much was this again? This was this was only a pound. Oh, look at that. Proper old school. Right, so I suppose now uh, we had better do some sort of fast forwarding and see what's made at the end of it. Imperial Battleship, speed up the flow of time. <laughs> And there we go. It is the most famous of all the Easter animals, the um, koala? <laughs> I don't really know. It is a little bear or maybe a little dog. I can't really tell, to be honest with you. Um, 
Yeah, I suppose by the way it's standing, it's not a koala, actually, is it? It's not climbing up something. Um, we're going to go for a small grey dog, and why not? Got to say, not a bad little model for a quid in its way. Um, pieces are really nicely uh, made. They all fit together perfectly. Um, no missing pieces or anything. It's all in there. Yeah, OK. That, that's pretty nice. I don't quite see what Robodog has to do with Easter, but that doesn't really matter. You can go there and possibly be a grey bear of some type. Grey bear? But I, I just don't know. Don't worry, the protective shield will save you from the attack of the Gonks. There we are. Zack Snyder, if you're watching, that, that plot looks like your sort of thing, give me a call. My number's 12. I had a phone very early on. Subscribe for more.